In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run a tempo run correctly based on my experience as an elite marathoner and ex D1 athlete. Stick around to follow along with my five mile tempo. We are here at the Virgin River in Washington, Utah. That's confusing. <laughs> yeah, we are here at the Virgin River Trail. I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, I guess I can confidently say that it's never had sex. How to run a tempo the right way. Step one, you have to pick how long and how far you're gonna go. Typically, I would recommend 20 to 30 minutes and how fast you're going to run. My quick rule of thumb to find your threshold pace if you don't know what it is, take your fastest 5K or what you think you could run a 5K in right now in good conditions. Take your pace per mile and add 30 seconds to it. So for me, um, I can run a 5K right around 14 minutes, about 430 pace per mile, so I'm shooting for right around five flat. Basic rule of thumb gets you in the right ballpark. Step two, find where you're going to do your run. Ideally, you want a place where you are not going to be interrupted, something where it is flat and you don't have to take any sharp turns. Number three, shoe choice. Ideally, you're not wearing your high cushion, slow shoes that you use for daily mileage. You'd have something faster, like a, a flat or a super shoe. Vaporfly next presents. Step number four, warm up. Warm up properly. Get in at least 10 to 20 minutes of a warm up jog. Do some dynamic stretches get your shoe changed. Step five, execute the tempo. Ideally, you can run even splits the whole way through. I think it's common for people to want to kick it in, last mile, fast mile. The whole point of this workout is to spend as much time at your lactate threshold, um, and kicking it in doesn't actually increase the time that you're spending at your lactate threshold. Okay, we're gonna get a warm up in and come right back. Welcome back to the channel. My brother, chiropractor, Dr. Ty. What's up? <laughs> well, he is going to be riding the e-bike to follow along. Give that bad boy a test run, huh? <laughs> Stop on a dime. All right, let's get into it. I opened the first mile right on five minutes, which is exactly my goal pace. At this point, I'm gauging how I feel to decide whether I need to change pace. By mile two, I felt confident I could maintain the five minute pace and figured if anything, I should dip just a hair under. I guess this must be the virgin part of the trail. By now, I've locked in my tempo pace and things are starting to get difficult, but not unbearably so. It can be difficult to lock in what threshold pace actually feels like. And I think I should caution you to not trust heart rate as much as many do. In my opinion, actual paces and your own effort are much more reliable ways to lock in your threshold. In my experience, I know I've done it right when the last 10 minutes are difficult, but I'm not collapsing when I finish. I'm behind you. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to mention step six. Take a nap when you're done. No, but really, recover. Now's the time after the workout, really, to get the gains that you need. You get faster when you're recovering, not while you're running. So eat good, sleep a lot. I'm gonna go take a nap.